Hi, friends, and thanks for coming for some coloring and some counting today. So we have this really great worksheet here. We're going to learn about the, the you. Hi, friends, and thanks for coming for our units number. Hi, friends, and thanks for coming for another math lesson. So today we're going to be doing counting, counting, and we're going to work on your name, and we're going to work on the date. Did you see that? And then we're going to read the directions, okay? I do have some colors here because we're going to be doing some coloring, all right? Okay, so let's first do our name. And my name is Rachel, so I write my name. If you're working on writing, you can practice writing your name or tracing. You can have mom and dad put a highlighter and make your name you can trace, okay? And then I'm going to write my name. R a ch l Rachel, that's my name. <laughs> and then let's do the date, okay? So the date today is 11-4-20. So that might be your date today, or maybe it's another date. So you might want to ask mom and dad, but I'm going to show you how to write the date, even if it's a different day, okay? So the date is 11. So we're going to write 11. Or once again, you can trace, so mom and dad can trace, or they can write it for you if they know the date and you're still working on tracing. Dash, 11 dash four, number four. One dash 20, right? Because the year is 2020. So it's almost 2021, but right now it's still 2020. It's pretty exciting. Okay, so let's read our directions. Color, count, and circle the correct numbers. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is color, okay? So this is our first, this is our first box here. And I only have a couple of cut colors. If you have many colors, then you can color all the, with the different colors. But if you only have a few, that's okay, right? Because we're all um, learning with different. But if not, and you only have a few colors, that's good too, okay? So let's start with our first box. So what are these? They're tables, right? Tables. Okay, so I'm gonna color my tables orange. Okay, orange for my tables. And if you'd like to use a different color to color your tables, please feel free to. I'm going to color the legs and the top. Got two tables here. Okay, great. So. If you're still coloring, you can pause the video here uh, and then we'll continue with the counting. Okay, so let's count. One. Two. Can you find the number two? There it is. There's the number two. So now we're going to circle the number two. Let's see. There we go. We're circling number two. Wonderful. All right, so let's do the next one, okay? So we're going to first color our apples, okay? So you can pick what color you want to do for your apples. I'm going to pick green, green for my apples. Apples can be lots of colors, right? Green or yellow or red or even yellow and red. I've seen apples that are that color. I don't think I've seen really any orange, blue, or purple apples, but you never know, maybe someday. Let me 
my apples today are going to be green. Green apples. Awesome. So if you're still coloring, you can pause the video here and then we're going to count. Okay, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. We have eight apples. Can you find the number eight here? There it is, the number eight. Let me just circle, okay? Okay, so let's do the next one, all right? Looks like we have some cups, right? Cups or mugs here. What color should we make them? I am going to color them green again. <laughs> Because why not? You can use the same color. You can also use a different color if you like. So you pick what color you like and you can help it. Oh, those handles. It's a little bit challenging to get around that, those handles a little bit. Also staying in the lines, right? It can also be a little challenging. But it's fun to see the color come off the page, right? It's a white page and then we put some color on it and it looks so beautiful. That's a wonderful thing to see. All right, you might still be coloring, so pause the video here and then we'll count, okay? All right, let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Can we find five here? There it is, five. Okay, let's circle the five. All right, now we have leaves, leaves. What color are you gonna make your leaves? I'm gonna make my leaves red for fall, right? Because <laughs> in the fall, sometimes we see red, the, the color changing leaves. And some of the leaves change from green to red. Red leaves. Let's see if I can get that color. Oh, my pencil's a little bit dull. I don't know if your pencil is sharp or dull. If it's sharp, that's good. If it's dull, then you want to make sure that the red part of the pencil is touching the paper so it makes, makes that mark. Or we can take a little moment and pause and sharpen the pencil and get back to color. No worries. All right, it looks like uh, we did all of our leaves. If you're still coloring your leaves, then please you can pause right here and then we'll count. All right, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. There we have it, seven. Okay, so let's see if we can find the seven here. There it is, there's the seven. Wonderful. Okay, great work everybody. Great work so far. Okay, so let's count these right here. What are these ones? Sailboats, right? Or they could be toy boats. We, we don't know, but they, they look, they definitely look like boats. So what color should we color in the boats? I think I'm gonna color mine 
orange, orange. I think I need a nice color for my book. So I'm not gonna orange. But I think I'm gonna keep the sail white. Sometimes sails are sails are white. There we go. And there are my sailboats. Wonderful. Okay, so how many sailboats do we have? Oh, but first, if you're still coming, please pause and then we'll count. All right, let's count our sailboats. One, two, three. Three sailboats. So, where's the number three? Can you find it? There it is, right? That's the number three. It's a sailboat. Great work. Awesome. All right, let's do the next one. What is this one? Looks like a shirt or a tank top, right? Because it doesn't have any sleeves. So let's color our shirt. What color shall we do? I was thinking green, but maybe I'll do two colors. Maybe I'll do green and orange. Let's see. Maybe I'll make the green part here. The middle part green. Maybe I'll add orange piping or border to the edge there. Right? This part on the side, maybe I'll make it orange. That's kind of fun. In the back of the shirt. I'll make it green. So maybe the back of the shirt is also green. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so if you're still coloring, you can pause the video. Or uh, if you're done, we're gonna count, okay? One. I have one. Can you find the number one? I see the number one. There it is. Cool. All right, let's do the next one, okay? What are these? They're rackets, right? Rackets, yeah. And it could be for uh, tennis or racquetball or any other, any other racket sport. And let's see what color we should make them. Hmm, what color? I think I'm going to make them red, okay? Let's make them red. Maybe this part I'll keep white. I'm just going to make the bottoms of them red. Red, red, red. Red, red, red. It's only a little bit of red, it looks like. Okay, so if you're still coloring, you can pause the video here. Or we can practice counting, okay? All right, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. All right, let's circle this. There it is. All right, let's see the last one. What are these? Spoons, spoons. Those are neat. What color should we make them? You can pick color you like. I think I'm gonna pick orange. All right, all right. I wanna do orange. Okay, let's color the spoons there. Color, color, color. Kind of coloring in a circle at the bottom and then a line that goes up, right? That's how I'm coloring them. All right. Okay, so if you're still coloring, you can pause the video here or we're going to count. Ready? One, two, three, four, four. Can you find the four? There it is. There's the four. Let's circle that. And look at that, we're all done. Wow, that is great. Well, 
What a wonderful worksheet we did today. Counting and circling and seeing those numbers, right? Those unit numbers. So thank you for coming to do a math lesson today. You were working very hard and I'm glad you got a chance to do that. I hope you had fun and we'll do another math lesson again soon. Okay, you guys? Bye. Have a great day.